Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Film Tank. And in this session, what we are going to learn? In this session, again we are going to create our own custom object deduction model using RoboFlow dataset. And this time we will detect a uh, grapes. And the class is basically the green grapes and the purple grapes. Simple. So before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay, friends, thank you so much. And let's get started. So friends, as I mentioned today, we will create our own custom object detection model YOLO 11 and then we will detect a uh, grapes and in grapes we have two classes so purple and the green color simple for that we will use RoboFlow dataset RoboFlow universe dataset simple so I have created a new repository YOLO 11 grapes I will mention the link inside description box simply copy paste the link inside web browser then go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository so friends we successfully downloaded our repository and just open downloads this is what our repository right click and then extract all click on extract it will extract our folder yellow and grapes main again same folder inside that I have mentioned the collab file for training purpose and this is what the full yellow 11 object detection code simple so this is the code here i have mentioned the video file and base.pt model also simple so now we need our model first but first let's just watch the video so vid1 so this is what our first video as you can see here we have purple color grapes so our goal is to detect a uh, grapes and then we have another video which is vid2 and from this video we have green color grapes simple so let's just create our model so inside data as you can see the data it basically this is the text file so inside that text file i have mentioned the universal uh, roboflow universal link for this data set simple so just copy the link open new tab control plus v and hit enter you have to log in with your gmail id first simple so this is what our data set we have here 163 images simple and then we will use this data set and we will create our model so now let's just open google collab first so i have opened google collabs click on upload browse go to the downloads our repository and we have here our uh, collab file let's just upload it first then we have our collab file inside our google collab machine and now here first we want to simply go in runtime change runtime type select python 3 or t4 gpu click on save and then click on connect done we successfully connected now we will run our cell one by one so first cell next cell where we are going to install our ultralytix package done we successfully install ultralytix then we will import the packages from ultralytix import yellow from ipython.display import display and image and then now we will cross check if ultralytix yellow 11 is perfectly installed so we will use yellow 11 s.pt model and we have our image from roboflow which is doc.jpeg then as you can see we have person car dog backpack from this image it means we successfully installed ultralytix now we need our we want to import our data set from roboflow so we need our code so this is what the link which i have mentioned click on download data set click on download on my own download on my own then click on continue here select the format yolo 11 this one yolo 11 then select it show download code click on continue then we have our new code so just copy it from from to yolo 11 copy it and remove the old one from from to yellow 11 delete it and control plus v it will paste our new code then run the cell so friends as you can see we successfully import our roboflow data set now if you click on this small folder icon go to the data set then final two and this is what our data.yml file so we want to mention all this path again so train folder so go to the train three dot copy path remove the old path from data.yml code 
control plus V then val val means valid so three dot copy the path val remove it old one path and then control plus V then test copy path remove the old path control plus V then just control plus S save it the data dot YML now we are ready and here we want to mention our data dot YML file path so three dot copy the path and remove the old path so data is equal to remove the old path and press control plus V it will paste our new path for data dot YML now let's just run our cell and it will create our custom model so friends our training process is started it will take some time meanwhile I will pause this video our model is ready as you can see we completed our training process and our model is saved inside runs detect and train folder so again we will click on this small folder icon runs folder detect then train then waits and then we have our base.pt model click on download and it will download our model So we have our model we successfully downloaded now close all these things open file manager downloads and this is what our model right click right click then cut and then move the model inside our folder paste it done and now let's just open our code so this is what our code so we need packages so go to the tools manage packages open cv i have one python hit enter first package click on install button here you will see there is a install button because I have already installed so that's why it says uninstall click on install button it will install opencv-python most easy way then ultralytics ultralytics first package click on install button it will install ultralytics then we need a cv zone first package click on install button done it will install cv zone also so we have done with package installation we successfully install all the packages now uh, model is equal to yolo base.pt which is our pre object deduction model and then the names is equal to model.names means this is what our class name which we have inside this base.pt then vid 1.mp4 and then we have our basic code boxes class ids track ids and confidences simple so now let's just run our code So friends as you can see I have started the code and it's detecting purple grapes so it's detecting this as a purple grapes now we have here another video file so vid2 we had it 2.mp4 let's just run the code so here it is as you can see it's detecting green grapes green grapes green grapes it means our model is perfectly working now what we will do we will simply change the color so we will create here a condition so we have here a class so let's just say if purple we have classes so purple and green so we will use the classes and we will change the rectangle color so if we detect a purple class so if purple in this C this C C is basically our classes then we will make pink color rectangle means for purple color grapes we have pink color rectangle so 2550 five, 2550 five, for pink color and then elif green elif green in C let's just say we will make blue color rectangle so x1 y1 x1 y1 x2 and y2 x1 y1 x2 and y2 is equal to box and then our uh, rectangle and cv zone put text rec method or we can just copy as it is from this x1 to uh, cv zone put text rec method simple and then here we will mention blue color for green color rectangle I'm oh, sorry not rectangle green color grapes 
simple. So, for purple color grapes, we will mention pink color rectangle and then uh, we have here a, a pink color. So, I mistakenly mentioned here a 255, this is basically green color. We want to mention here 255, 0255 for pink color. 255 0255 done so if we detect purple color class we will make pink color rectangle for purple color grapes if we detect green color grapes then simply we will mention blue color rectangle so let's just save the code and if i run the code and as you can see we detected here a green color grapes so we have blue color rectangle simple and then we have our uh, vid one video file if i save the code if i run the code so for purple color grapes we have pink color rectangle as you can see simple so this is our friends with the help of roboflow data set you can use yolo 11 object detection for detecting purple color grapes and green color grapes i have mentioned the full code also i have shared the roboflow data set i hope you learned something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye